good morning welcome back to the channel another day in the beautiful motorhome that we we still got bits to do no we've got loads to do yeah it's uh, an ongoing project but it's really getting there sorry if it's dark uh we've got curtains drawn on the uh yeah, cab part. On the cab part. just a bit of privacy <clears throat> uh so we made we've made a change Yes, a major change, an interior change. I think it looks amazing. I don't know if you lot uh, you can go back on the video. There was a table mm. that come out almost to where I'm sitting. I think we mentioned, but I didn't know. Really so it was tight. We took it out, the wife mainly, because it was little tiny well, little screws. Like a, it was like a piano hinge. Mm. that she had to undo to get the metal frame out i'll show you in a sec which we had a problem with the metal frame didn't we? we did so there was a, a piano hinge and it had about 20 tiny screws i couldn't get my big sausages in there so he said to do that which was um, a bit hard so cause... here it is so now there is so much room. Now we've still got a table that will fold out if we need it. It will come to about here. Um, so that will double the size. You've still got a bit of a table, which is what we want. I mean, we've got a work surface there, a work surface there. We've got like a little ledge there. It, I just, it makes a huge amount of difference. Yes. Uh, the, the table pot, I have got to clean it because where um, it's been hidden moved. for years. Yeah, you can see all the grime and stuff down there. But but now we've got a usable cupboard because really you couldn't use well you could use it but just not store anything you need daily. Well, I couldn't bend down to get under it, and you couldn't bend down. So we've got that, and uh, yeah, I just think it makes it more of a, a livable space now. Now, if we need some a table here for any reason then we'll just pop one up we don't really use a table that but if you let me just do it from the top so if we stand well back like this you probably can tell more um how much space now that table came out to about where how far did it come to you and Oh, it, it fully extended it will come so here. it fully extended it went to andy it would probably come about here yeah so, so it's take it. So I'd say it was about uh, two foot out. Yeah. And so now we've got all that space, which makes it easier that I won't stand on his head when I get out of bed. Plus, it weighed a ton. That the section we took out, it absolutely weighed a ton. So the weight without your saving in it is considerable as well. Mm. We. Uh, it was, it was fiddly to take out, so we had to call on um, your favourite brother-in-law. Yeah, International Rescue, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, Tim will fix it. Yeah, and he did fix it. I'll tell you something, uh, going back to our other video. Um, so when we did our first video previous to this, where we did our first night out, um, we were travelling around and we just stopped looking at the... Um, sat nav, didn't we? Yeah. So we were just uh, parking anywhere, really. We didn't realise that road we parked on, and apparently, I think it was the A5, A5 one of which, the busiest yeah, parts, which it's round the corner from the M6. But apparently, that is a road where uh, all the lorries do a shortcut or something for the, for the motor, apparently. Uh, so that is, yeah. we couldn't have picked a worse road, uh, but. We might, as, we might as well parked in the middle of Trafalgar Square. <laughs> so we really messed. Well, we didn't mess up because we just seen the funny side of it. it it's a shame we didn't have the cameras rolling when um, I was in bed half asleep, nearly dropping off, and that lorry come down because I kind of screamed. <laughs> now we're uh, on Monday. We're going through Wales to the coast for a week. Not going in this, we're going in the van. The van. Which is over there. Which so. is just there. But what Elisa, I haven't told Lisa because I kind of thought of this last night, but 
on the journey down any kind of feasible stopover lay by anything where it's not close to the road but it looks good to stop for the night i'm going to start what three words and make up oh a list yes so that anytime we're in that area i can just uh that's a good idea actually yeah so everywhere we go now i'm just going to what three words and yeah. that's good that's a good idea because I'm going to look into, maybe we didn't do anything, something right, but that uh, park for night, it just gives you co coordinates for um, the places. Yeah. At the end of the day, we've got a mile trial. We've got it earlier than we expected. We're very happy. We're doing changes. We've got some glass. I'm just looking at the floor. To be honest, um, under the captain's chairs. It, it, He's it's obsessed with dust. I don't like dust, and it's got to be dusted and cleaned. And it's got to be de-dusted. De de well, it's not so much that. It, it's like, so now we've moved the table, you get more light under those chairs, and I can see dust. So I've got to get rid of you. Um, and I will show you in a different section. I'm going to clean the doors i've got we bought some muck junkie yeah which was recommended by another youtuber and we're going to see if it at least cleans up a little bit of the yellow doors yeah so that's so, what i'm going to get busy on yeah we also actually we've another thing going um we've only got <laughs> how many stickers we've got two at the moment off yeah we've only got two stickers we're going to uh Hopefully, you'll get more when we go to these festive, uh, festival things um, where other everybody goes. Maltram Festival, that's the word. Uh, what we're going to do is because we had a, we've got a big step that we're going to get rid of, but the previous owners you can see probably I don't know if you can see down there there's a big scratch. Sandy was on about um, getting getting some more wood on here because it's chipped and stuff getting piece of wood on there and that's where we're going to keep all our stickers because we was going to keep it on the wardrobe door but it's a good idea actually because of all that but i can still i still i can smell that blooming smell now i've got bad smelling senses but i definitely can stink it's like a musty smell I well, well, I know you can stink when you fart. Uh, well, I don't fart. <laughs> you fluff. I fluff. I definitely can smell something in here. And the thing is, I don't want people to think we're dirty. <laughs> so, anyway, he's about to do some mouse work. So, I mean, uh, we've got two overs. Uh, we had two overs in the house. So, one of them we've taken for the for the mouth round. Now, we've emptied it twice. Now, our other hoover has got a bigger cylinder, but look at the state of this hoover. It's got to be emptied again. Can it, I don't know if you can see it on that cylinder. <laughs> look how full that is already. Don't too close because it won't focus. Yeah, you can see it's all up here. It's absolutely full. And... The other uh, hoover we got, the cylinder is bigger than that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And we've had to empty that twice how far. So that'll be the third time, and I've got more. Um, I mean, when we did view this car uh, this Maltram, it didn't seem dusty, but then I wasn't looking at hidden parts. We were just looking around, which dust don't put me off. Um, it's easy fix, that is. Um, but... You know, I just want to uh, make sure it's all gone under them captain. It's them captain's chairs. I tell you, it's like drives me crackers. So anyway, better go. That's what, Flynn. Got to go because we've got work to do. Or he has, didn't ya? So, Mark Junkie, this is a before. As you can see, it's it's heavily stained there, and it's just generally yellow. So I'm going to give this a try. This. Not junky stuff. I've done 50 50. Um, I didn't know whether to do it neat or not, but I've done 50 50 uh, for now. 
But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll uh, show you the results. Um, I've sprayed the muck junkie on, left it for 10 minutes, and I've actually used a scour, a uh, kitchen scour for, um, and I've been really scrubbing. And do you know what? It's not the yellow ties, right? But what it has done, it's got all those horrible tide marks off. So it, it's still yellow, but it's it's clean now. Um, you can definitely see a difference. Um, Maybe try some neat. Yeah, I might try some neat, but the trouble is the YouTuber we uh, that recommended it to us, their, their mum home was a lot newer. Uh, I don't know how how new it was. About ten years, I don't eight, know, well, six years old, something that. like that. I think twenty six years of uh, of whatever has turned that yellow, and that is ingrained into the plastic. If I it, if I am honest, um, I don't think there's anything you can do to get that. Anymore. I don't think there is. Uh, the wife said, what about painting it? I'm hesitant to paint it because it always looks horrible, especially with, unless you do it right. I mean, to do it right, you'll probably need to take the door card off and spray it. But uh, that would involve taking the electrics because it's got electric, um, electric windows um, and all the other gubbins off which I don't really want to do for something that's really cosmetic. I know it's a pet hate of hers, but it's clean. Uh, we are going to do the hab door as well. Um, but I think it's something we might have to live with. The weird thing is, that's yellow, but the uh, not unless this has been renewed at some point, this is a lot whiter, which is the plastic that goes around the the frame. I'm guessing the doors is because it's open all the time and maybe, maybe if you uh, uh what they call it, um Well they used to go to France, so the weather might have been warmer out there. And might be kind pollution of the door. Yeah, all sorts of things. But uh what the wife wants to do is unscrew this the which carpet. is carpet and there's a bit down there as well. I mean I've cleaned it but I'll tell you. I thought it buttoned on, and I'm sure it does, no, but it's no, it is actually screwed. These are just button hiding things, but screwing isn't a problem, we just unscrew it. Mm, it's a big job for us, Andy. Eh? I don't think it's a It is bad. Job. We couldn't unscrew that bloody thing at the back, well, then, and we had to get Well, the we'll just get the, um, the vax in here, because the vax has got a handheld bit. As long as you don't get the dash too wet wash and dries yes it's like one of those you pull forward and it it's a, washes it's a and, wash you, and, dry carpet, and you pull yeah. back and it sucks um the dirt. i'm kind of pleased with it i'm I, i'm glad that tide mark's gone it, it looked awful uh not that I put my hand on it because it's about three miles away my arm on it i've got arm armrests for that but uh it's um yeah Ben loves his space. Love I mean, if you're going to hoover, could you hoover, you know, the bottom of these dolls? Well, it's it a seems like in. there's some detri de de detritus well, in this there. This comes in handy, this flash thing. I don't these. think that'll need sucking out, that will. Well, it'll be, I'll have to use this to then do it. But I'll tell you something, I've done that at the side of your chair once. Yeah. And I had to throw it, it was black. Yeah. Them disposable things. I'll tell you what's weird about driving this thing. It's not the left hand drive, you get used to that. It's not even the gear sticks on the other side of the uh on the other side what I'm used to. Again, you get used to that. It's when you're driving on a motorway or any road, it's the kilometres. Now really I should put I can't get there, otherwise I'd put some sort of sticker. Maybe I should have like a little um just a reminder, some sort of sign there saying 100 miles an hour is 60 and uh, 
so that long. So long. Time now, Babs. Because uh, I look at the, um, I look at sixty miles an hour on here, and obviously I'm not doing sixty miles an hour. I'm probably doing thirty kilom- uh, thirty miles an hour. But uh, yeah. Andy, he's not enjoying it though. He's, mm-hmm. he's on me lap looking at. I mean, Peanut. When we're in cleaning mode, he really get he gets bored. He just uh, he goes about and. He's having a good old nose. He likes to look at the window. Though. He, he, gets he does. On, yeah. He's a. Uh... Go in the chair then. <laughs> good fun. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, just turn the seat around. Uh, that <laughs> was minging underneath. I mean, it, it, it gives me anxiety. Honestly, I get in because, especially now that table's gone. Because you got all the light and underneath the captain's chair you got like the rubbery part underneath. I bloody Ubered that floor, look at it. Look, look at the, the dust. There's a big lump look, of dust there. I told you that it, that's I don't the dog get in now. It's it's absolutely thick of dust and we've Ubered this. We're on the third time on the Uber and that's um the Uber up there. I mean it is really really dusty it's so, um so the trolley's got that many cupboards uh i'm trying to remember where i've put stuff i, I have had a look for you see if we've plonked the dash cam in there and that other big screen but i can't find it that no point they so give I'm up and just see what happens I'll show you it will turn up I'll show you the hab door now Come here, Peter. So we have a still yellow. This might come up a bit better, if I'm honest. So uh, try. yeah. Look, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, and there's this thing, which I'm guessing. She's going to want to clean. Oh, definitely. Um, I don't know where to. I wouldn't fetch it home. down just yet because. No. Um, it's yeah. It's going to all drop on the floor and it's got to be sorted. But... So we can only do one thing at a time in this uh, environment. We can. This needs to be put somewhere. <clears throat> Sit down. With the dog as well, it doesn't make it easy. So, yes. but I mean, I mean, I'm gonna let me just see if it shows you it. Look, no dust on this thing. That's just a tiny bit, and that's just. Jeez, absolutely filthy. Isn't it? I mean, I mean the trouble is you've got to do it all underneath the grooves. I mean, I should wear gloves this really because. And I've cleaned this before, I think. I've cleaned these. Did you pass the tea towel, the sponge, and the muck junkie? Careful because that's wet. Right. Charles? So it's a busy old. Uh, there you are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. Actually, this is. I've got to give you another one at the house. I've got to do. That. Anyway, we're gonna continue cleaning. Oh, <laughs> this has lost her. <laughs> it's stuck down. A groove. Just poked it down a groove, and it's. <laughs> I should have guessed that really. That's that. probably going to be there now for another ten years. I can't get the bugger out. Anyway, I'm gonna. Leave you to it. We're going to continue cleaning. We're getting there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.